We are talking about PIN numbers. You know, you use a PIN number with your debit card. Quite a few people use them with a credit card. Is it protected? You may change it, hide it from others' view when you're typing it in, but guess what? It's not as protected as you might think, even when you take all of the necessary precautions. Our tech expert, Scott Schaefer from Blade Technologies, joins us this morning with some uh, information that, uh, frankly, you, you, you shocked me. Well, you know, truthfully, you know, the, the era of the pen pad should be going away now. We have other technologies which we'll talk about. But what some uh, researchers over in Europe did is they filmed 5,000 people entering a pen into a pen pad while hiding their hand, right? So over time, the program could be able to tell, okay, if this certain tendon in that finger is moving, or the hand is set like this and the, this, the probability of it being a seven or a one, wow. and so on. So they can guess that uh, after the training with, the, uh, with, with all the video it has to ingest, 40, 41% of the time it can guess it, which is bad because you think about it, usually you get three tries. Mm -hmm. So if it's more than 33%, then it's probably going to be able to get your PIN number. And that's for four-digit PINs. Five-digit PINs, a little bit less, about 30%. So much safer with a larger, longer PIN. And, and they've been using PIN numbers longer than we have here oh, in the States. Absolutely, forever. Yeah. And, you know, it's one of those technologies, you know, everybody knows it. Uh, you know, you see a PIN pad, but we need to move away from it. There's other things like NFC that we can use with our watches, our, okay. our phones, and be able to do even more secure transactions that way. Uh, there's also pin pads that, that spin around and change the numbers, right? So it's not always in the same format, which is great for me and you, but if somebody's visually impaired, that's going to cause a problem. They're not going to be able to see that. What about just a longer pin number? That always helps. Always try to use the longest one your bank offers. Uh, my bank offers five. So as we talked about the statistics, if you have a five, you're going to be safer than a four, obviously, but also it's that key number of they can guess 33% of the time because you get three tries, right? Mm -hmm. So four, they can always guess it. Five, not so much. I know a lot of people use their social security number. Not a good idea. <laughs> Not a good idea at all. You want to keep that really closely held because it was never, social security numbers were never set up to be a national ID number, which they've become. Mm. They were just simply your, your bank account number with Social Security Administration, right? So they never had the protections that are inherent in any sort of good, you know, digital identification system. Why not just use your fingerprint? That's a great one, too. You see that more and more. Fingerprints are, are any sort of biometrics, you know, retina scans, uh, facial uh, scanning, these sort of things. Always better than using a pin pad. But sometimes you're going to have to use a pin pad. And if you do, what you want to try to do is to cover up as much as you can with your extra hand. If you only cover up 75% of it, the, the, you've got about a 30% chance of getting. If you get it 100%, it's still got a chance, but it's more like 20%. So be cognizant of that because not only do you, you might have a camera watching and filming this and then be able to do, do the uh, deep learning and figure out what you're doing, you could have somebody looking over your shoulder too, which is always the biggest threat. Yeah, how, how far are we from this changing so it's safer? I haven't plugged a pin number into a point of sale system in a long time now. Okay, it's good. two or three years. Been using uh, near field communications, you can set up your credit card with Apple Pay, Samsung, set, Sam, Samsung Pay, Google Pay, and these sort of things. So you see a terminal, you hit a button on your watch, for example, beep, you're done, you're out. Right. Scott Schaefer, thanks for the heads up from Play Technology. If you want to get more information, we always have that on our website at fox2now.com.